another online session of Pilates. This is going to be pitched at more upper level, intermediate and advanced. You will always have options and if I don't give an option and you know a different alternative, which we've already gone through, then certainly feel free to use it. But otherwise, enjoy the backdrop, enjoy the workout and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to take you into 100 first of all. So take the spine down, we're going to set you up first with the knees bent feet flat onto the floor, lengthen from your tailbone to the top of the head and feel that your weight is centered, you're not even, or sorry, out of alignment in terms of being more heavily weighted on one hip more than the other. The same with the shoulders, that you feel even and centered. If you need to, roll the palms up, keep the shoulders connected, feel open across the chest and then roll the palms down. We're going to take three breaths initially. Take an in-breath, and then breathe it out. With the next two breaths, allow the pelvis just to rock. In-breath, that arch, and the out-breath, that imprint. In-breath, arch, and out-breath, imprint. And then draw yourself into neutral. So by this stage, you should know where that space is at this level. And we're going to commence into 100, we're going to lift one leg at a time, centre will all automatically kick in. We're going to bring the legs together, so the heels are touching and knees are shoulder width apart. Whenever you're ready, curl it up. 100. Options, legs are lengthened or legs are in. You choose and you choose the height that your legs are going to. Beat down strongly. Five beats per in breath, five beats per out breath. Make it audible. Can you lift a little higher? Keep lengthening through the legs. Last one. And give the legs, legs a hug in. So from there, we're gonna take it in single leg circle. Options for bent legs, but otherwise, if you can work straight, hands flat, shoulders and chest open. Circle across and up. Five each direction. Work hard to stabilize. And then we're changing direction. Long leg, you've got the option of going three quarters straight or bending either leg. Give it a hug and release it down. Draw the other leg in and again, you choose. Three quarters straight, fully straight. Find your center, stop. Find your center, stop. Change direction after five. Stabilize your center. Give it a hug. So then we're gonna take you into double leg stretch. Draw the knees up, legs together. Curl it up. If you have the space, you're gonna circle the arms wide. Lengthen and circle. Otherwise, if you're restricted for space, just bring them up and in. We're gonna go for eight movements. Last one. You choose on the arms. Taking it straight in then from double leg stretch to scissor. You can choose. Maybe you're in a mood for bent legs, but maybe you're in three quarters. Or maybe you're in full. So you choose. Gentle pull in. The legs are doing the work, you support it. We're gonna take it up to eight. So it's two movements per in breath, two movements per out breath. You can add in the double pulse if you choose on the out breath. I'm gonna go single today. 
means we're going up to a count of 32. You know me in counts. <laughs> if you don't know me in counts, it could be 32. Could be a little bit more. Come on, keep drawing in through your center. Keep lengthening through the legs. Finishing up if it's on the left and then draw the legs in for a hug. I'm going to bring the legs down. Take a breath. Hug one knee in. Roll yourself up into seated. We're going to take in the spine stretch. So in terms of position, nice and tall, lengthened. Could be legs out straight. Making sure you notice the position of your back. Use a block if you need to or bend the knees if you need to. We're going to go legs hip distance apart, stronger, toes up. You choose. Shoulders in the socket. In breath, on the out breath, that nod of the chin. Reaching through, not lifting the shoulders, relax them down. Restack your spine. Abdominals are pulling up. You're trying not to collapse through your rib cage. So as you take it over, don't slouch. Keep lifting. Get the stretch between the shoulders as well as in through the legs. We're going to go just one more. And we're going to take you into spine twist. Again, you choose leg options. Maybe they're in diamond, maybe they're long, maybe toes are up. We're going to go from arms in front. We're going to go bow and arrow. So from there, you can have thumb up. That helps you keep the shoulders more open or palm down as the little extra challenge. Ready? And starting to twist through the waist, elbow leads behind, reach it forward. And again, elbow leads behind, reach it forward. Now you choose which breath pattern you want to use. In breath can help to lift you taller at your end range. Relax the center. Maybe you prefer the out breath. Reach forwards with the front hand. Reach forwards. So you're opposing forces to take your full range. Last one each side. And back to center. So then we're going to take you into double leg kick. So bring the legs around behind. And you can choose whether it's box three quarters or full press up to lower to the floor. So once we're there, hands into the lower back. Head turn to the right. Find your neutral. Engage in through your center. And hips into the floor. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Lift and lengthen. Other side with the head. Triple pulse and lengthen. Out breath on the triple pulse. In breath, lengthen. I want you to make sure the hips stay into the floor on the double pulse. And I want you to be super long as you pass through center. We're going to take it long. Last one. Finishing back to the right again. So from there then, press it up. So you can choose whether that's a full press up again. We're going to take you into the last movements. We're going to come into leg pull prone. You have options from here. Hands under the shoulders, set the shoulders. A little bit of push, a little bit of pull. Shoulders away from the ears. Ribs in, back of the neck nice and long. Take one leg out, lengthen through the heel and the other. So from there, you can either hold or lift one leg and lower. Lift one leg and lower. Maybe you lift and point and lower. Lift and point and lower. So you choose in terms of your option depending on how you're feeling. We're going to do one more on each side, total of 10 breaths, and then soften it down. So from there, we're going to take it straight into side bend. So if you choose, you could go, for example, um, from your plank and transfer directly into side bend. And then we're lowering and lifting. If you need to take the hips to the floor and the bent leg option, Please take it. Don't make yourself do something that you're not ready for. Up and over. Last one. Hold, hold, hold. And circle back to center. Now I'm going to change sides, but you could transfer directly to your other side. If you're going from the floor as a lift, take it up. Again, lift the hips, 
lower. Lift through the underside waist and lower. You're not setting down in between. You're pushing strong through the arm. And five, last one. Take it up and over and hold and release. That's all our movements that we're going to go through. But please take a child's pose. Knees a little bit apart. Reaching long through the fingers. Walking it over to the right so you feel the stretch down the left side. Take a deep in breath. Inflate the ribs and let them draw back in. Take it over to the left, lengthen your right side. Inflate the ribs and relax back to center. So then from there, take it up onto all fours, scoop in with the tummy, round through the back. And happy cat with the tailbone lifted, shoulders pinching, ribs down, sad cat, round it up. Well done, hope you finished it through to the end. If you feel you've got a little bit more time, you could always repeat it again. Have fun, hopefully see you again soon. It's a wrap!